7.30 and we are on our way to Austin's doctor's appointment this morning. We all got up early and got ourselves ready to go. The only one of us that was really in a good morning mood was Robbie, interestingly enough. Hey. I was. You were too? Yeah, okay. I'll open up the mirror real quick. So, yeah, I'm still half asleep. I did not sleep well. It was like 3 in the morning before I finally went to bed because I was just wide awake. And then I was wide awake laying in bed for an hour before I finally fell asleep. So when my alarm went off at 6 this morning, I was not a happy camper. I know. I think the plan is to go and do this doctor's appointment, go and do groceries, and then go and do a nap. So this is why I insist on Eric always driving to these appointments when we have to go to the hospital because he just avoiding all of that traffic you just saw there and I would not be able to do that because I don't know my way around here he uh, pretty much drives for a living you know he goes all over the place so he knows all the back roads and all the ways around all the traffic um, we're going into Ann Arbor so there's always always traffic so we have to go into Ypsilanti and all the way through Ypsilanti into Ann Arbor and up so if you're local, you know what that means, and if you're not, you don't, but basically we're uh, going the long way around to try to avoid the crazy, ridiculous amount of traffic. We're still going to hit traffic when we get up by the hospital, it's just inevitable, but this will avoid most of it, hopefully. His appointment is in about a half an hour, and we're, what, like 20 minutes from the hospital? Yeah. But if you factor in traffic, we may just end up being late. We'll see how well Eric manages to avoid it. But yeah, I can't handle driving these super tight roads and the traffic and the freeways. So luckily, that guy can drive it because I would be a nervous wreck. I'm a nervous wreck just being in the passenger seat. So there's that. Hopefully we make it on time. And the kids are back there watching what? Netflix. Secret Life of Pets. On my phone because my has Netflix. Yeah, so it's about what, like an hour drive, all told, to get yeah, to. Usually it's 45 minutes. Well, with the traffic. All right, it guys, it's 8:06. We made it. We're pulling into the hospital now. Maybe if this guy ever. Uh, there you go. You can do it. So there we go. That is the hospital there. It's the University of Michigan Hospital. We are going behind it to the Children's Hospital. That's the hospital that saved Austin's life right there. we have been here in our new truck and I gotta tell you clearance is a little tight I mean we fit but it's like oh it's close and, and I'm holding my breath like that's going to stop us from hitting the top of the structure right Someone's grumpy this morning. It's not me. Okay, you guys, so the appointment was a success. His um, tube has been changed. Easy peasy, right? Mm -hmm. And now we are debating on where to go for breakfast because every one of us is starving. All right, you guys, well, we decided on McDonald's for breakfast. I got a couple of breakfast burritos. The kids got, um, well, Austin got a sausage muffin. No, no. No, sausage biscuit. Robbie got a sausage muffin. Eric just went into Tim Hortons to get coffees. We're gonna eat and then head home. Eric's gotta go to work. 
Um, and the kids and I have to go and pick up some groceries, which I really don't want to do today. I really just want to crawl back into bed, but we're going to rally, get some groceries quickly, and then come home and nap. All right, mm -hmm. you guys, I am here at Aldi, about to go in and grab some groceries. It's pretty hectic and crazy in this parking lot right now. Um, I called and was able to get a dentist appointment for today, which is good because this pain is really starting to bug me. Um, the only issue is, is that my appointment is at 2.30 and I have to have Robbie at the soccer fields by 3 and I can't be in two places at once. So I'm trying to see if I have a friend or a family member who'd be willing to drop him off for me and then if not, I don't know, I may have to either reschedule the appointment or see if his coach is going to be at the fields early. Maybe I can drop him off early. I'm not really sure, but hopefully it all works out because I really would like to get this tooth checked out today. All right, you guys, I am home from the grocery store. Oh, man, I am so tired. I'm going to lay down. What are you doing? I'm being weird. I'm going to lay down. I have an hour before I have to leave to go to the dentist. My sweet friend Candace offered to take Robbie to soccer for me, so that is all situated, which is awesome, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna lay down for an hour, and then I'm gonna jump up. Austin and I are gonna go go to the dentist and hope that the prognosis isn't terrible and I don't have to have a root canal, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's the plan, but I'm like dead on my feet, so I'm gonna go and take 45 minutes to just close my eyes. Hey guys, so I'm a few minutes early for picking up Robbie from soccer practice, so I thought I would update you on how my dentist appointment went. Basically, it was a big fat question mark. Um, she checked out the teeth here. Um, because the pain that I'm having, I'm only having when I bite down, and it's really hard for me to pinpoint exactly which tooth is causing me the problem. So I could show her the general area that is causing me pain and sensitivity, but I couldn't tell her exactly which tooth it was. And she didn't really see anything wrong with um, the teeth that she looked at. She said that I do have one tooth here that is actually still a baby tooth. There, you guys can see it right here. And it's pretty worn down and that could be causing my pain. She said I don't have a cavity in it, but she would be willing to try and fill the tooth to fill the space that is, to fill the tooth out more so it's not ground down so far. Um, and that might help with the pain. I did schedule that appointment tomorrow, but I'm not really convinced that that is the issue. So I don't know, I might call and cancel it. I don't know, it feels really crappy to not really have an answer as to what's going on. I just know it still hurts. Um, so, I don't know, I might call and cancel that appointment tomorrow and see, maybe try for a second opinion or, I don't know, maybe it's not the right tooth because, like I said, it's really hard for me to pinpoint which tooth it is. Maybe she just didn't look at the right tooth. Um, you know, I this baby tooth does cause me pain occasionally, but I'm not convinced that that is like the cause of this pain that I went in for. So I don't really know. Um, I might call and cancel that appointment tomorrow, or maybe when I'm there, I'll have her check out these back teeth too and see if maybe that could be causing the pain. Because like I said, it's hard to pinpoint when I don't actually have the pain where the pain is coming from. Um, and the sensitivity is like all along my top gums here. So it's really hard to tell. I, I don't know. I, I'm glad that she didn't see anything like wrong with the teeth she looked at because I guess that's good. Um, but it doesn't answer any of my questions as to why I'm in pain. So that's that. Big old fat question mark. I'll have to talk to my husband when he gets home and see what he thinks I should do, if he thinks that I should get that filled. I don't even know if my insurance is going to cover that because there's not a cavity to fill. I, I was kind of uh, what the fucking it a little bit when she said that she could fill the tooth even though there's no cavity. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Eric tonight and see what he thinks and go from there. Okay, guys. Well, I'm home. I made dinner. We are having chicken stroganoff, which I've never actually made before. I always make it with ground beef. Um, but this time I just made it with chicken. You guys will see this in my Meals of the Week video if you watch that. But I'm having a lazy evening. Just going to have TV in front of my computer. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. Eric's working late. And the kids weren't even really all that hungry, so they're not even eating yet. They might eat later, but... Yeah, that's going to do it for tonight because as soon as I am done eating dinner, I'm going to pretty much head to bed. I'm still exhausted. It's been a long day and tomorrow's going to be another long day because I got a ton of work to do 
and going back to the dentist tomorrow. Um, Eric suggested that I um, have the rest of the teeth in the back looked at um, just to make sure that there's no other issues before I go ahead and have that baby tooth filled. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have put in a call and left a message with my dentist's office. So hopefully they will just change tomorrow's appointment from a filling appointment to another exam. I don't know if they will. We'll see. But that's the plan, I think. Um, but that's tomorrow. For tonight, I'm going to eat and just chill the rest of the night. So thanks, guys, so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.